quick off the top of my head. All right, so I'm just gonna cover real quick about what I'm currently eating on a daily basis, plus or minus different meals in different times, right? So this is like an average meal that I would eat every day right now. Keep in mind, I'm trying to bulk, I'm trying not to gain too much body fat, and I'm trying to still figure out exactly how many calories I need to eat to see, you know, hey, do I really need to bump this stuff up a lot or just keep where it's at. So anyway, just real quick, I am currently trying to eat about 3,500 calories, 350 grams of carbs, 78 grams of uh, fat, 350 grams of protein. Everything else I don't really care about right now, okay? So, let's get into it. First thing when I wake up in the morning, I normally wake up at about 6 o'clock-ish or so in the morning. The very, very first thing that I do is I wake up, I grab 100% whey, and I just down a shake real quick. So there's my 20 grams of protein or here, 27 grams of protein, right off the bat, right? Boom, chug that stuff. Then I go get ready, take a shower, do all my good stuff, all that, whatever, whatever, whatever. whatever. Um, if I am eating breakfast at home, at that point in time, I normally put on, there's no eggs in there, but there would be six eggs in this bowl right there. So I either eat um, two full eggs and four just the egg whites, or if it's like a weekend and I'm making breakfast for the whole family and stuff, I'm not too crazy about it. I just make a whole lot of uh, uh, scrambled eggs with all the egg yolks, and it's not a big deal. Right? Um, <clears throat> I normally have a cup of Quaker oats with that. If I'm eating eggs at home with scrambled eggs and all that good stuff, I like to eat a plain bagel with that as well. I do use uh, butter or margarine, if you want to call it that. It's uh, like the, I can't believe it's butter. I use that just because I'm addicted to butter and I can't help it. All right. So anyway, today my lunch is going to be a Subway. The Subway consists of, we're back. All right. Lunch consists of Subway. It's a foot long flatbread steak and cheese sandwich. I like to put a lot of spinach on there, tomatoes. Basically, why do I like this? Because it has relatively a lot of meat, okay? So there's that guy I'm gonna chat on in a second. Then after about three hours from now, I will have this meal, which is just basically the same stuff like the beef stir fry that I made, but this is with chicken, okay? Mmm, it's got some brown rice in there too, All right? So then, two, three hours after that, I'm getting ready to head towards the gym. I will have me a muscle milk. Why am I using muscle milk right now? Because I have a whole lot of it. I'm just trying to get rid of it, okay? So I'm using one shake before the workout, muscle milk. Then I do my workout. After the workout, I'll have a shake, and I'll probably have, this one here is one scoop. This one here, I'll have two scoops and a banana, okay? Then when I get home, uh, jump on this guy, which is basically just some leftovers from that uh, uh, chicken stew. I'll still toss some brown rice in there, or even white rice. My wife has a lot of white rice made right now. Toss some rice in there just to fill it up, and that'll be that. Then I'll have a snack before I'm going to bed, which is going to be oatmeal. Uh, in my oatmeal, I like to put. I like to make it with milk, and if I feel like sweeten it up a little bit. I'm gonna take a little scoop of muscle milk, toss that in there too. Um, and before I go to sleep, I will have my casein gold standard protein shake. Um, if I feel like I've eaten too, too fatty, too greasy that day and I wanna minimize my fat, I'll just make it with water and just chug it real quick. If I feel like I have a sweet tooth and I'm trying not to go downstairs and make me some ice cream, I'll just make this with milk because it kinda gives me that, that feeling of you know, having some sweetness in my life. Anyway, um, water intake, I try to drink at least one of these a day. And this is, I don't think, what is this, three liters? Where is it at? Yeah, this is a three liter jug. At least that, okay? Now, this is just what I'm eating today. It changes, um, like if I don't go to Subway, then uh, obviously have one of these, right? And I may toss another meal in there, like I may toss a can of can of tuna in there with some more brown rice, just to make up for it. But basically, this is what my 3,000, actually this brings me over my daily calorie intake. This is gonna bring me to 3,800 calories today. 
All right, out of those 3,800 calories, I'm looking at about 350 grams of carbs. No, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. 381 grams of carbs, 125 grams of fat, and only 323 grams of protein. You would think that my protein would be way up, especially if I'm taking a pre-shake, a post-shake, toss some more protein in there, toss some more protein in there. Um, I'm 200 pounds right now, and due to my body type, if I do not take a lot of protein, I lose a lot of muscle fast. Actually, with eating what I'm eating right now, since last week, I've lost, I've lost about two pounds, okay? Um, I can, the reason I'm kind of going slow with this whole I lost two pounds because I really don't care what my pounder says, but I can see in the mirror that I'm losing weight. I can see it in my arms, my vascularity comes out a little bit, and my midsection you kind of see a six pack definition, you know what I mean? So, anyway, this is what I eat as of right now. The next food uh, video I'm going to make is going to be a little bit more cut back, as in like the closer I get to a competition, basically what I would do is I would take the raw food out, right? So I have the raw food laid out there. Um, for example, in the morning, I still have the same thing. I have the protein there. I have the oats there. Um, then I'll have a raw piece of chicken, a raw piece, piece of uh, steak, and some other stuff out there. Basically, hey, I have to eat this at a minimum to make my, my daily calorie intake for when it comes to muscle building, right? Which I'm gonna hit in about four weeks, I'm gonna start that phase. All right, so there we go one more time, checking that out. Um, the reason, lately I've been taking two scoops of this in the morning, only because I'm having a hard time getting up to my protein demands that I need for a daily basis. If I'm tr looking for, if I'm aiming at 350 grams of protein, I'm Generally, if I'm not really trying that hard, I'm gonna end up somewhere around 300 grams of protein a day, so that leaves me 50. And I don't wanna take so much stuff at night to where I'm just like just saturating my body while I'm just hanging out there because obviously you can only digest so much, right? So anyway, so I'm taking, sometimes I take two of those in the morning, especially like if I'm, if I'm, if I'm on an off day, I'll take one. If, I'm, if I did not work out that day, I may not even take a casein shake at night. It depends on what I've eaten throughout the day. Though. If I've been eating clean, I will take a casein shake. If I'm eating completely junky, I'm gonna kill it. If I don't feel like a casein shake because I'm just so hungry because I didn't eat enough throughout the day, I may substitute this for a bagel and natural peanut butter. Kind of gives me more of a satisfying feeling. And of course, you can do you can toss another, uh, you can have the casein and toss another bagel on there too. Who cares, right? It's all up to you. It depends on how your body responds to it. And yeah, man, that's about it for right now. Yep.